Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> long time ago now. What happened? Well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. Well, what do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Well, thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa, back. Oh, Christ, I knew I should have driven. Hurry up! Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? 
It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> Oh, come on! I thought you were meant to be good at this! Oh, look at these cowards! They're heading down the hill to the water! And there they are by the shoreline! Look at the floor for a bit. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. What the hell? Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Coward. Get off me. Funny bastard. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh. This rope is cutting into me. Shut the hell up. All right, all right, damn it. monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. 
Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here.
I have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, uh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? You gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that debt. Uh, this is as fast as I can go. Someone's here, boy. 
Pop. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Now, where's them drinks, boy? The drinks ready. It's right there, miss. Ah! Cut your damn head! Clean off! Damn you! Fuck you! Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from them. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. You're wasting your time, please. Paul's a drunk and a destitute. <laughs> there ain't nothing else here. Come on, girl.
Easy, whoa. Yes, this old church was pretty in the day before the usurpers got their hands on it. Wasn't the blues. We were starting. What's that, huh? Ah. Get down and cover now! Hello again, stranger. Ah. All right, move up! You will fix it for a fight. How are you, boy? Bonjour, monsieur. Partner.
Bonjour. Hello, mister. Out of the damn way. My apologies. Ladies. Bonjour. Monsieur. I always say, manners cost nothing. Oui. Hello, ma'am. Monsieur. Hello, ladies. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Ah. How do you do? I can still feel the damn splinters in my palms from chopping logs for the fire. Well, what are you gonna do? 